Yoshida on site. In the technological development section, we have incorporated automation to the press machine. For Uchida, this system brings unyielding quality, stability in production process, and cost effectiveness to our operation. It also enables us to produce three types of molding, which are CFRTP, CFRTS, and high pressure RTM. The RTM molding process first begins with a dry fabric being cut with a plotter. The cut dry piece of fabric is picked up by a robotic arm and preforms the piece with a preheater. The piece is inserted to a mold again by the robotic arm. The Klaus Moffy machine injects resin and applies extremely high pressure after the mold has been closed. We can also have the robotic arm pick up the finished piece and transport it to the product shelf. In the lamination process, automation enables us to manufacture a pre-form within a matter of minutes, as opposed to a human being producing the same result that would take several hours. The four to five hour molding time it took an autoclave can now be performed within a few minutes by the press. This automatic system brings unyielding quality, stability in the production process, and great cost effectiveness to our operation. The jig and tools section creates the 3D data for the projects, molds, and jigs where CATIA V5 and MasterCAM software is used. The machining center consists of five units of a three-axis and one unit of a five-axis machines that enable shaping of projects of all sizes, even items as big as the four-meter range. This room is the beginning of the overall production process, so it is important to keep in mind the entire work schedule that flows after this section. There is absolutely no room for error, since a single mistake will affect the entire process flow for all departments involved in a project. Even the best machines in the world yield mistakes if the person operating it is not capable. So it is important to work with the mentality not to fully rely on machinery. In the lamination section, succeeded by the molding process, the cutting of the material and layering is performed. The cutting plotter is used to cut the materials in full compliance to the specifications, as well as to the exact requests of the customer. In this room, the materials that were cut per exact dimensions of the blueprints are carefully laminated by hand by specialists. After this, it is heated and hardened in the autoclave. This is the extent of the laminating tasks. The most difficult aspect here is understanding which type of material is the best to use, since a wide variety of different molds are utilized for various prototypes and mass production. Since a large amount of projects are prototypes made up of varying composite materials, 
Using the correct resin not listed in the reference spec sheet all comes by the knowledge cultivated from everyone in this department. The large autoclave fits considerably sized projects, but is limited up to 200 degrees Celsius and ideal for molding epoxy resin based items. The smaller autoclave has a 400 degrees Celsius capability with 2 megapascal of pressure application. This broad temperature control autoclave enabled curing of many epoxy resin based projects, as well as polyamide and thermoplastic resin of high heat curing properties. Because of this equipment, the specialists have gained priceless knowledge of material conformity. This autoclave also enables the company to keep up with the latest technologies of the world. It's almost like the equipment is guiding and shaping the worker's skill and technological advancements. The finishing section features trimming, drilling and bonding of the projects, as well as final assembly. Everything in here is done by hand, which requires exceptional artistry and outstanding technique that allows compliance to exact specifications according to the blueprints. For example, in trimming or cutting, choosing the right tool is very important. Fully understanding how the tool makes contact and proceeding with the cut becomes vital. During the bonding process, utmost care in preventing impurities from entering the room is implemented. Contamination results in decreased adhesion characteristics. Seeing individual parts taking shape into a whole product brings us great satisfaction, and for us, this is the most rewarding aspect of this job. The inspection station consists of two specialists who each have over a decade of experience using equipment such as the non-contact laser tracker and NDI, non-destructive inspector, for molds and jigs that require fast inspection, the laser tracker is used. However, certain customer requests and company standards require the use of NDI to evaluate the inner dimension, not visible to the human eye. Since prototypes make up the majority of the projects that come through Uchida, it is important to not have any preconceptions and treat each and every one of these projects as something new. Uchida will never deliver the product to the customer without performing these final inspections. The most important factor when painting carbon fiber is how beautifully the folds of the carbon can be enhanced with paint. Another thing to keep in mind is that carbon fiber is utilized for its lightweight characteristics, so that the paint must not weight it down. It must be applied in very thin coats, not to affect the overall weight of the product. In some cases, the thickness of the paint is required to be within one micrometer of specification, which must be hand finished to meet these requirements. Here, experience and past test data 
it becomes very handy to achieve these results. In some cases, not all areas are painted, so it requires masking. If paint gets under the masked areas, the quality of the item drops immensely. So this process is not to be taken lightly. Moreover, how easily the mask peels off has to be comprehended, which has a great impact on the processes that follow. My policy here, to what is referred to as a carbon fiber item, is viewed more as a work of art, where the utmost attention to the detail motivates us to produce each item with a quality higher than the one before. There you have it. Uchida possesses some of the best technologies that only a few have in this world. We are embarking to become the top entity in this niche market. We were also recently awarded the best company in the better living category at the JEC World 2016. I'd like to thank everyone for your support. It all started 48 years ago as a mannequin manufacturer. Today, we supply our composite creations to MotoGP, Formula One, supercars, aircraft engines, satellites, and linear motor cars. We're also involved in various arts where CFRP is used to create masterpieces. The autoclave has enabled myself to acquire a PhD in the study of quantification of molding. We as a company strive to pursue higher levels of composite material technology as well as develop new ideas and products that will help this world we live in today.